What's up, fellas? Check out this bike. This is absolutely stunning curb appeal, second to none on this Husky 500. Starting with the bristling Olin shock in the middle and the white bodywork with the blue and white seat. Yeah, she's a looker. She's a very sexy bike from top to bottom, front to back. The gold rims, the gold body on the Olin shock, the gold chain um, just plays real well with the black motor, the blue and white seat. As far as the cosmetics of this bike, it's second to none. Maybe a Mako make Sand Spider 490 might rival it in curb appeal and, and for exclusivity because not many of these were imported to the U.S., a lot less than in, in, in the Honda CRs, and, and then second would be the KX, and then the YZs. Um, these were down at the bottom of the uh, uh, production chart along with the Mako, and so you just don't see too many of these around. This one is ready to roll into the, uh, a museum or onto a centerpiece of your display. Cosmetically, it's, it's stunning. Uh, mechanically, it uh, needs some engine work. Um, it has compression, it kicks over, but it didn't start right away. So we're down two techs, we don't have time to go through it. It's being sold as is, where is. Um, starting at the front of the bike, you can see it has the gold rim, the original forks are in good condition. The, um, like a, the, uh, the bars, the triple clamps, everything's in good condition. The, the, the original gas tank was painted uh, they, they have a, a habit of turning yellow, so this was just uh, painted white along with the new graphics and new seat cover. She looks beautiful, and it does kick over, but it's not currently running. Uh, it does turn over. The kicker assembly itself, the kicker gear needs to be uh, serviced also because every, every fourth or fifth time I, I tried to start it or kick it over, um, it would skip a beat. So the kicker's in great shape, but the gear inside needs to be uh, uh, machined, which is, you know, maybe it's a $20, $50 part. I don't know. It is a two-stroke. Very easy to rebuild these. The parts, probably less than $1,000 to get everything you need to re completely rebuild the motor. So this is kind of a roll your own. It's sold not running. But you can see the rear tire is in brand new condition. It's a Dunlop D739. That's the tire it came in here with. The front tire is the one it came in here with also, which is... A like new Dunlop also. Um, if you're willing to put a little sweat equity in, rebuild the motor, you'll, you'll have yourself a big board classic Husky two-stroke, and you know those are going up in value like all the two-strokes. Junior, would you, like, would you like to add anything about this classic Husqvarna? Yeah, cool-looking piece, the bodywork, right side t chain drive, Olin shock. Um, this one ran when parked. We bought this from a big board collector in Michigan. Um, but, uh, yeah, we dolled her up. Not much... Uh, not many spaces on on uh, on the benches before the end of the year here, so she's going to be offered for sale. Yeah, it's it's you know it's been steam cleaned, washed, and uh, detailed. The bottom of the frame rails, I want to always check those on a big bore two stroke. These are like brand new. Um, you can see they were uh, hastily repainted, but uh, there's not a single ding in the frame rail anywhere over here. And the original rim on the thing on the back of this is perfectly straight. Those are two hallmarks of a bike that's both low hours and not ridden hard because I myself would destroy one of these steel frames in one season um, and, and warp up the rims. Check out the other side of the frame too. It's probably the most important part of the bike in my opinion uh, is the frame and, and it's absolutely, there's not a single thing anywhere in those frame rails. The engine cases appear to be in great condition. The original exhaust has a weld right here. It probably cracked, which is they were, they were known for doing that. But um, the, the bottom, uh, the pipe has got some dings in it also, which uh, uh, can be removed by a, a pipe uh, specialist, can, can pop those dent outs or put a new expansion chamber on it. Gold chain appears to be new, I think it is new. Uh, rear tires new, seats new. Um, plastics look to be brand new and the tank was freshly painted with new graphics. So uh, she is, like I said, <laughs> it's stunning. It's a beautiful piece, but unfortunately, Junior said it ran when parked. I didn't buy this bike from the guy, I didn't talk to him. I know we bought five big bores from him, I think, right? Yep. KX500 and a CR500 and, a, and a, a Sand Spider 490, this bike, and an RM500. Three out of the five bikes fired right up and needed no mechanical intervention. This one and the Mako didn't run. Uh, we're putting them in this month's auction with a low reserve, so if they sell, great. If not, we'll rebuild the motors and we'll be asking, you know, with, with the rebuilt motor, uh, I think the reserve on this bike would be set north of 7,500 with a new motor in it, and it would probably sell for, for eight to 10,000, maybe more, just like the Mako Sand Spider or the CR500s, so they're bringing big money. Here's an opportunity, do it yourself, rebuild the motor yourself. You'll know everything's brand new.
and it may not even need need that much. Um, it does kick over. Uh, the kicker's got that issue, but probably a piston or rings. Might as well do the, the crank seals while you're in there. Bring it to someone like Ken O'Connor Racing and have them build you a race motor, and you got yourself a winner. So low entry cost, stunning looking bike with a pedigree. Husqvarna's well-known brand, high quality stuff. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, give us a call, and God bless America.